Hey, Iostax here, and welcome to Quick Tips, a series in which I go over tips that you just want to try out immediately after watching the video, and that are applicable to everyone, no matter what skill rating you're in. The majority of my videos have been aimed at higher level players, so I hope that I can go over the basics and help everyone out a bit. And who knows, maybe you're playing in a really high rating and you could still learn a new thing or two. But without further ado, let's get into today's topic, hitting pulse bombs as Tracer. It doesn't matter how good your movement, aim or positioning as Tracer is, if your pulse bombs don't land, you won't be able to reach anywhere near Tracer's full potential. As it is a projectile that flies in an arc at a relatively slow speed, and especially in a relatively fast paced game like Overwatch, where most characters are rather slim, it is not always easy to land this stick, even for professional players. There are however some ways you can make your pulse bombs more consistent. For example, you can try to stick enemies that are larger. Most tanks like Reinhardt, Roadhog or D.Va are incredibly easy to stick because of their size, and as the tanks, they usually position themselves very close to their team, allowing you to get at least one kill with it almost 100% of the time, as long as you follow up with a clip. Against a Reinhardt, you can also come from behind and throw your pulse bomb. Even if it misses Reinhardt himself, it will most likely attach to his barrier. While good Reinhardt players can play around that, most won't be able to react quickly enough and take the full force of the explosion, and some Reinhardt players even turn around out of panic, rotating their shield and thus your pulse bump right into their team. D.Va is also a character that is really important to take out early. One way you can guarantee you value out of your pulse bump is by waiting for her to re-enter her mech. When a D.Va uses her self-destruct, she will be able to re-enter her mech immediately after her ult explodes. You can blink towards her as she re-enters it, stick her and shoot a clip as follow-up. She will lose her mech immediately, being essentially useless for the rest of the fight. Zarya is another character that can give you super easy pulse bombs. Simply wait for her to use her barriers on either herself or a teammate, wait until the barrier is about to run out and throw your pulse bomb towards the barrier. The barrier is huge and thus hard to miss, and if you time it correctly, your bomb will detonate after the barrier fades, allowing you to take even very hard to stick characters like Mercy or Lucio out of the fight. Sometimes, however, you have to land a stick on a key target that isn't Zarya bubbled or a tank. In those situations, make sure to always aim for the legs. This way, you can make sure that the pulse bomb reaches its target as quickly as possible. Remember that it flies in an arc. Not only that, this way it will hit the ground below your target in case it won't stick, instead of flying 2 meters behind him, which can still net you a kill and minimizes the impact a missed bomb may have. Well, those are some trips for Tracer. Let me know what you think of this new series and bring the discussion to Reddit. If you want some coaching, no matter what skill rating you are at the moment, check out my coaching on Sandbox RTG in the description, and I will make sure that you make progress. My name is Iostax, and I'd like to thank you for learning.